Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group. Hey, Cole Banker, Dean Hop Realtor. Well, for the second day in a row, I find myself out at the beautiful community of Homestead in Schertz, Texas, just off I-35 between Schertz and New Braunfels. But the reason I'm here today is because my teammate, Juliana Klein, has a client that's PCSing in from Hawaii, and they're looking for a house they can move in pretty quickly at. So we're looking at this pre-existing home built in 2019 by Castle Rock. Let's go check it out. Now this Castle Rock plan is the same plan that was uh, that they have as a model home here. And a long time ago I did a video tour of that model home. But this house is 2,552 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath. And as of to December 2021, the seller is asking $448,000 for this house. I actually asking for 47995, but it's, I just think it's silly that people think I'm going to get fooled. I was like, yeah, this is 448k. You know, it's beautiful paint design. Love the yard work that they've done and uh landscaping. Just literally not rock. Ah, I can't talk anymore. Nice rocks. But that balcony up there, uh, Cats Rocks and Armadillo, or one of the few builders that build those houses that have that ledge up there. It's a $30,000 upgrade if you're having them build it new. At least it was last time I talked to them. That looks like these guys were prior Navy. Anyways, let's go check out this beautiful home. All right, let's head on inside. Beautiful front door, very nicely maintained. But then again, this house is only two years old. Like I said, it was built 2019. It does have the wood looking tile floor, which is very nice. Now they are obviously using this room as a dining room, but you can use it for whatever you want to. And uh, yeah, really nice little bit of separation. Oh, they like them Moscow mules. Can't blame them, they're tasty. All right, let's check out this main living space because that kind of jumps right at you when you come in. A, a nice kitchen setup, some dark wood cabinets, and this community is gas. So it has a nice, let's see what brand these are. LG, I like the color of these appliances here. They're gonna be a little bit darker stainless steel. Your typical corner pantry. But I do like that this has a little grill aspect on it. Nice little functional island right in the middle with some pendant lights over it. It does have the 50-50 sink, which, uh, yeah, not the biggest fans of that. But I love how these guys have decorated everything. And uh, there is some advantage if you've got nice stuff already you don't have to empty out your house. I mean, just look at the, the detail they, the sellers put in here and it really shows well. So if the sellers ever see this video, your house looks great. But you do have a breakfast nook here, which is fine for breakfast nook, but I see why they have that as a formal dining room. It does make this, this space would be difficult to have this as your main dining room space, but a good spot for a breakfast nook but plenty of space in the main living room area. They do have a beautiful fireplace that's off to the side, giving you plenty of space to have your TV and entertainment set up. As I'm filming this, it is to December, 2021. So everybody's got their Christmas decorations up. Well, not everybody, most people. I've got mine up and we are gonna go upstairs in just a second. But before, let's go check out this back patio area. Ooh, this backs up to a green space. I love it. So you do, oh, I like these guys even more. They've got a big green egg. And so, uh, very nice having that. You are, your neighbor, like I said, they like to grill too, so the neighbors are a little close, but you have nobody back behind you. And it's very quiet and peaceful. I'm trying to listen to see if I can hear the highway, but I really can't. I hear a train going by, but that's about it. I'm being nosy, check it out how their green egg looks. Yep, they use it, cool. So 
some people don't use their big green eggs like they should and it gets a little moldy on the inside uh very nicely maintained it's like they freshly painted this but well maintained yard it's got the oak tree in the back this does have sprinkler systems back here and definitely love the color schemes on this house all right let's head on inside and go upstairs and see what we got oh, trying to respect people's privacy and not show pictures of their family oh i almost forgot we do have the laundry room and oops, don't want to show license plates but uh just a regular two-car garage i do not see a water uh, it's plumb for water softener but it does not have one but at least having it plumbed could say it would save you like a thousand dollars and it's not too difficult for a plumber to come in and hook up that water softener we do have beautiful wrought irons on the stairs then we got the little decorative parts All right, right when you come up the stairs, you do have a bathroom, a full bath, a Jack and Jill full bath. So let's go wander up there. Nice little storage spot. And coming into another bedroom. Did that have a bedroom or it just goes to the hallway? We'll look at that a little bit more. But a full bedroom that they're using as an office. And yeah, since we're here, we might as well go outside and see what the view is from up top. Oh, nicely done. Plenty of space out here. They've got a little table. So you have shade, a nice breeze, and a nice view of the neighbors. Do a little people watching as they walk by. And they added the lights that you can get from Costco pretty cheaply. But man, do they increase the ambiance of being able to sit out here and just enjoy the day. Now, the sun's going to be setting off to your right-hand side or a little bit back there. But this general direction on the side of the house is where that sun's going to be setting. But once again, a nice little addition having that balcony back there. Oops, stepped on his office thing there. Okay. This is coming off the loft area. Remember when we came in, there's the dining room downstairs. This is the loft space. They've got it set up. A little TV. Very nice. All right, so this is where we came up the stairs. So I guess this bathroom can be a powder room, but you can lock that door to the office, what they're using as an office. So the upstairs folks can still have access to this room and block it off so they don't have full access to everything. All right, let's go around the corner. We do have another full bedroom upstairs. Go check out this closet space. Ooh, good closet space here. And a little, like a little mini walk-in closet. More kid stuff, so definitely gonna try not to show pictures. But let's check out the closet. Oh, about the same. Another good sized closet there. All right. And the view from above the loft. Cute little space there. All right, let's head on back downstairs. This house is really, really well maintained, guys. 
All right, we are back downstairs. I just don't like filming myself walking downstairs. I'm just silly like that. So this shows the powder room. That's for the folks living downstairs. Like I said, they still carried the wood-like tile in, but you do have carpet in the owner's suite. And speaking of owner suites, this one is nice. Love what they did on that accent wall. And I steal ideas from model homes all the time, but that's an easy, quick fix one. Just putting some boards up there, painting them, and it looks great. Nice space. We do have dual vanity. With nice lights up there and a very good size shower. It's not a mud inset shower, but it's a nice one. Water closet off to the side, plenty of space in there. Your little linen, oh, little makeup section. They got a little thing with lights in here. That is cute. I'm sure, I, okay, I'm, I can't go without hitting this. I gotta turn it on. Check that out. Now, sometimes people wonder what to do with things like this space, but this owner did a great job making this a little makeup space. Very neat. All right, check out this shower to the size of the closet. Now, not the biggest closet in the world. This house is 20, just over 2,500 square feet. They do have a little nook underneath the stairs to store stuff. And they got the towels there. So yeah, you got one row of clothes there and some more clothes there. So hopefully that's not a deal breaker for the people we're doing the video for. But this is an extremely well-maintained house in a great community. All right, that's going to wrap tour of this beautiful home built by Castle Rock in 2019 that is on the market right now as of 2 December 2021. Can't promise how long it's going to be on the market. So if you're interested, we will need to move fast. Anyways, uh, I'm going to keep this video just for my teammates client for now. But if they pass on, I'm going to make it public, and that means you're watching it. And if so, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. And the best way to reach out to me is to click on this uh, my calendaring app, which I'll leave the link to it in the description box. All right, take care for now. Talk to you soon. Bye.